Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial. Today in this tutorial we would be looking at how to download and install the Ubuntu's latest version which is Ubuntu 12.04 version. All you need to do is to make your computer dual bootable. That means your uh, PC would be having two operating systems at the same time. One would be your Windows operating system and the second would be your Windows 12.04 uh, operating system. So the steps that you need to perform is to firstly go to your browser and you have to write this line in your Google and you have to visit the first link which is this one and uh, you have to now select the appropriate version that you want to download. Uh, you can select the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version. And the 64-bit version is uh, obviously more fast but uh, but you have to select the appropriate version for your PC. If you have a 32-bit operating system, then you then you have to select your the 32-bit uh, version and 64-bit uh, version. Otherwise, okay. And you have to write uh, click on the Start Download button. And uh, uh, once your download is complete, you have to create an installation CD as it is mentioned on the site. And uh, the or you can also create a USB stick. Uh, once your download is complete, okay. This is the official site of Ubuntu. Uh, this site also provides you with all the steps that you need to perform while installing your Ubuntu operating system. Uh, but if in case you don't understand the steps, then I'm always there to help you. Now the second step that you need to perform is to go to the to this site and download the Windows installer for Ubuntu. You, uh, this uh, uh, Ubuntu installer is actually uh, there to make your computer dual bootable. Okay, this is a very small setup. You need to just click on the start download button, and your setup uh, and this uh, uh, Ruby installer would be downloaded. And the third step that you need to do is to go to your my computer. And once you have created your installation CD, as I have already created it, uh, you uh, you just have to go to my computer and have to select the appropriate version. I selected this one, and then you have to run this configuration file .csg file with the Ruby installer that you just downloaded. Okay, and once you click OK. The installation process starts all by itself. Uh, you don't have to do anything. Now, uh, since I have already installed my Ubuntu on my PC, uh, uh, this window asks me if I want to uninstall my uh, version and then uh, install it again. But uh, since I don't want to do it, I will not be doing it. Uh, but in your case, if you are downloading it and installing it for the very first time, then uh, you have to uh, provide uh, the window would uh, start the installation pro process all by itself. And then after the installation is complete, it would just ask you while extracting the files, it would just ask you that how much installation space you want to provide and what drive you want to install it. Uh, so you'll have to provide uh, those details and you'll have to select a username and, your, and the password for your Ubuntu operating system. Okay, and uh, the minimum space for installation can be uh, like uh, 1 or 2 GB uh, and the maximum uh, you can select uh, by yourself as much space as you can afford to give uh, to your installation. Uh, it's upon you, it's, it's your choice completely. So that's about it and uh, thank you so much for uh, for viewing my tutorial and